Digital Performer 10 just got VCA fader functionality. But what are VCA faders good for? The first thing you need to know is that VCA faders control other faders. So the most obvious thing is, is that you could use a VCA fader to control faders that have been automated without affecting the automation itself. As you can see here, I have a drum VCA and I can change the level of these drum tracks, but the automation stays intact. It's only scaled by the amount of the VCA. But you may think, why don't I just use an aux bus instead? Here I have a track with some drums and a send going to some reverb. And the drums are going out to a drum group. So let's hear what happens as we turn down just the drum group. We don't hear the drums anymore, but we do hear the drums that were sent to the reverb send. That's no good. Let's try it again with the VCA. The VCA controls the fader itself, so all send levels stay proportional. That is excellent. That is a great way to use VCAs, and that's why VCAs win out over buses most of the time. But there are some more advantages. VCA faders can be organized in a way that not only represents what is in your song, but what is happening in your song. I know this graphic looks overwhelming, but pause and look at it for a minute. Those colored blocks in the middle represent tracks that are actually in your song, and then everything else is a VCA. If you want to turn down the verse, you can turn down the verse fader. If you want to turn down the bridge, you can turn down the bridge fader. If you want to turn down the drums that are kind of light, you can do that. If you just want to turn down the guitars or the rhythm guitars or just the harmony parts, which are both vocals and lead guitar, or the vocals. I think you get the point. We can think about which instruments we're working on, which part of the song we're working on, and this all works with automation. It all works with send. It's amazing. It's a great way to mix. It takes a little bit of time to set up, but once it's set up, you can really work fast and work efficiently. But wait, a smart viewer may be thinking, I can do that with a fader group. Well, I have a fader group here. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does appear to work. Well, let's try something. Let's record some automation on our drum track. And we'll do some up and down, and that's fine. And then we'll hit play. And now we want to use our fader group to automate some things. I'll go ahead and, oh, our drum automation is gone. That's no good. Well, we screwed that up. Let's try it again. Let's record some drum automation here. That looks good. We'll hit stop. We'll hit play. Now we'll use our VCA fader. I can scale that automation with the VCA fader just fine. That's because fader groups use a bi-directional link and VCA faders are unidirectional. So VCA faders win yet again.